Yeah. Ladies, gentlemen, and judges, you are all ready? Very good. Please help me welcome to the stage contestant number one, Coco Nuts. Coco Nuts is in a beautiful, elegant, sky blue evening gown that is embellished with thousands of beautiful diamonds and pearls. She's bringing you love, desire, and beauty like the goddess of love, Aphrodite. They say that diamonds are a girl's best friend, so check out Coco's beautiful slippers. Hairstyled by Mario Romero, excuse me, Mario Romero. Dress and accessories are designed by, once again, the famous Jason Belong. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number one in evening gown cover the show. Coco Nuts. You guys can keep making some noise. It's hard for them to stand up there in the middle of the evening now. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to find a really pleasure for evening. Please put your hands together. Walk one more time, but young lady, she is Coco Nuts. Are you ready for the microphone? Yeah. There you go. How the hell are we doing, Slicks? <laughs> Mom, are you guys enjoying the show and the pageant? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm contestant number one, Coco Nuts, running to be your Miss Slicks 2013, and I hope you guys have enjoyed everything that you've seen so far. Woo! Yes, Woo! Well, there's more to come. Wait for talent. Thank you, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, she is contestant number one, Coco Nuts. <laughs> Looking lovely, ever so lovely. Now I see that. Oh, okay. Is our bar server still Bobby tonight? Bobby, will you come see me? I'm going to be chat. I just need a cocktail. I have coupons and money downstairs. I don't, I'm doing a slushy stuff. It's like, I, it's like I'm at the quick shop. I love that this bar sells the little slushies. Takes me back to the day when I was growing up and I lived in the project, so. In the trailer park in Council Bluffs, where I'm from. You are ready, okay. Then you draw the power part, so. We are ready for contestant number two in the evening now. Ladies and gentlemen and judges, this is Brooke Divine Grace. She shines bright like a diamond, but not just one, over 1,000 of them. The dress that Brooke Divine Grace is wearing is the hand-beaded, hand-sewn studs and made for this goddess alone. The royal blue, blue color accentuates Brooke's bronze goddess-like skin. The hair has been... Yes, they are. Her hair has been swept up in an elegant outfit ready for the night on Mount Olympus. And finally, to finish off her match, she is accessorized with single heels to finish off her beautiful look. Brooke is giving you, Brooke is going to give you life and death because you will gag tonight after seeing what all she is going to bring. Ladies, gentlemen, and judges, 
This is contestant number two of Ethan Young competition. She's back. I just found out last night she moved back. She said, bitch, I've been here since February. <laughs> Judges, are we ready? Not quite yet? Not quite yet. Okay. Did y'all like the evening young so far? Woo! <laughs> uh, Brooks evening got made me pee a little bit in my pantyhose. Um, I am enjoying the fan over here. Jeremiah, Jeremiah got me a fan because I'm sweating like a fat kid at church camp. And instead of putting it up like here or over here, he's got to put it at my crotch. So every once in a while, I lift my dress up and get a good breeze. All right? We are moving on to contestant number three, ladies and gentlemen, the evening gown. I'm just going to read her card very quickly, then I'm going to bring her out. Ladies, gentlemen, and judges, the gown speaks for itself. Contestant number three, Laura Gray. You can't give her money. Contestants at any time. They can't take money because I need to disqualify. 
Of course Bresnik's gonna be a fucking slap bitch. Yeah, you're dead. Jeremiah and Kyle, where are you? They're coming. They're gonna give some more to it, and uh, before they do, a couple more things that are happening here. Oh, are you ready? No? Yeah. Okay, so they're gonna give some more to it, and then they're gonna do a couple more things that are happening here. Oh, are you ready? No? Yeah. <laughs> Are they smoking? Oh, you were holding on. Okay. Oh, they're getting hit. They are going to present an award to somebody here in town. And what might be not just in town, could be in Omaha. Oh, there you are. I think he went to look for you that way. He's out that way. Come up this way. Oh. Yeah, there's a. Where could we go? I don't have jokes. I'm a joker. I haven't seen my parents in a really long time. They showed up tonight. My mom looks at me and says, where the fuck did you get that ass from? I said, it's all padded. It's my couch. I cut it up. Okay, you're going to give it a word. Hi. I am. I am. Ladies and gentlemen, the owners of Flex Street for Kyle and Jeremiah. Good evening, everyone. Are we having a good time tonight? Now, Sean, you're not running tonight. Thank God. Uh, you're real pretty. Okay, so anyway, this is a part of the night in the night where we give out our, um, our award of extreme gratitude. And if you're here last night, you got a long explanation of it. We now give out an award um, each night at Mr. and Ms. Fix to someone who has who means a lot to us and who's done a lot for the bar and the community. Um, they don't want to listen. So, um, last night we gave it out to a gentleman who has done a lot for the community, Mr. John Beck. And so tonight we're going to choose, um, we usually give it out to a female impersonator or a, a woman that does a lot for us or a lot for the community. And tonight we chose a person who always has our back. This person, numerous times in the past year we've had people, it, it comes up where someone has to cancel the show and there's even been times where it's been within a week's notice, and this person puts a show together and packs this bar. She'll have a poster out the next day. She'll have her lineup, and she will have everyone in her show. And not only does she do that for us, but she does stuff in her own community and our whole gay community. And we would like to bring up to the stage Miss Fantasia. Get out here, girl. Thank you so much for all you do for us. Once again, absolutely, you, that was like the Oscars. You should have said, I'd like to thank the Academy of Drag and Drag King. I'd like to thank the Academy. What, uh, there is absolutely, nobody can cross this stage. Nobody can go on it from this side. Nobody can come on it from that side. So if you try to walk across there, we're going to have to ask you to do Please don't do that. <sighs> Public service announcement. You know, girl, I'm built like a linebacker. I am. That's a huge bitch. I'm kidding. We're going to move right along. 2010 Miss Mix, ladies and gentlemen. Please put your hands together. She is Joyce Simone. Woo! 